so today is going to be a very uh, you know like a different kind of a session uh, this is happening for the first time on spiritual spirals and i know uh, shilpa from you know like she is an gandhi fellow and uh, and of course now she is into so many modalities she'll speak a little bit about herself also a little bit and light language as i understand it is a uh, purely uh, intuitive language and want to know more and more about this so well thank you shilpa for your time and uh, welcome here welcome on this platform so people will keep joining uh, but i i want you to you know begin Thank you so much for your time, Shilpa. Thank you so much, Anuradha, for being so sweet and calling me on your platforms. <laughs> It's an honor to be here. And um, yeah, as Anuradha said, uh, I'm a Gandhi fellow, and we used to work in same organization, but we never met. And we met once. We left the organization, and we were. on our spiritual path at that time somebody introduced both of us and that is how we know uh so uh, i like i am a light language channel i speak light languages which brings in lot of quantum healings lot of healings at soul level at your higher heart level which is difficult to be understand logically or which is difficult to understand you know through your mind but this is a kind of uh, healing or modality which directly comes from the spiritual world and it enters into your spiritual being and then you know slowly it starts to permeate and manifest into your physical reality according to your soul's need according to the need of your soul path uh apart from light language like light language comes very natural to me i can write and speak light languages apart from that i am a tarot card reader i am a pranic healer i am also a shamanic practitioner i am a certified hoponopono uh, healer and uh, what else yeah, i am an animal communicator and i do animal healings as well so so it's just you know bringing divine energy in different forms that's it ultimately it's the divine who is coming forth and doing all the healings so whatever is needed so i feel it's going to be a very interesting session because so uh, for the first time many uh, like i'm assuming most of you will be hearing or experiencing the light language healing uh, in your life and i really wish that you know it brings a lot of uh, emotional cleansing in you and it activates a lot of joy and happiness in you so before we start the session like does anybody have any questions for me regarding the light language or anybody here who has already experienced the light language i know your shashwi lectures my student also other than your shashwi anyone here who has here or heard light language before or who has experienced light language before i have experienced light language uh, before uh but it was in your session and one or two other sessions of other light language speaker and what right. i found was that uh, the way light language is different you know like if you hear, hear tamil from one person but it's something different at least in my hearing that's what i can understand right. i mean whatever right. i yeah right. right no it's absolutely true so right now um, across the globe there are very few people who can channel the light language and there are different styles of light languages even the same person may not channel the light languages similarly you know it keeps shifting it keeps shifting based on the evolution of the individual and basis of the energies that wants to come forth so uh, even the light language that i write and channel is never seen <laughs> is always different <laughs> and uh, light language is something that is very innate to all of us like uh, initially in the ancient times of lemuria and atlantis there was telepathic communication but uh, if there is some kind of form and if some communication was needed to do in some kind of form it was light language you know it's that ancient but over the period of time over the ages we have forgotten that innate ability because of lot of 
uh, corruption and you know the way we are in the current times nature of the times basically and uh, also the in the higher spiritual worlds wherever there is any form of communication it's light language otherwise most of the time it's telepathic communication even if you see the ancient egypts uh, transcriptions over their walls some uh, of the transcriptions you will find it is actually like language you know it's that ancient so the ancient people ancient leaders they just knew what it was but but right now because of the shifting of time because of the vibrations or uh, shifting the vibration and the dimensional evolution that is happening on our planet more and more number of people are you know opening the soul gate they are becoming aware of the light languages they are becoming aware of the ancient ways of healing that was natural to them when we were in those times so we we are definitely living in a very historic and golden times where you know we are coming together with our soul gifts and helping each other other to get activated on it any other question any but you would like to ask something before we get into the meditation so i thought rather than you know talking about it we should experience it so we will get into a small light language meditation also uh i have uh, two queries uh, while yeah. listening to you uh mrs uh, still uh, shilpa sorry uh so there are uh, like two questions which come to my mind the first one is that if there is a life exist outside outside earth uh, which we normally call as alien life mm -hmm. uh can we communicate with these uh, aliens uh, through through this language and uh, if yes then uh, i i heard that uh, now uh united nations have a department and uh, they are setting some protocols uh, that if any case if if there is an interaction between human life and and the aliens there are some like certain kinds of uh, people are involved and already some some kind of protocols are already been established so uh, like if you want to talk about something about that and the second question is that yes there there are two kinds of uh, souls existing on uh, on earth and uh, some of them are really uh, like spiritually awakened and uh, like so i think they are the healers let's say and the other ones they are the commoners now i'm i'm thinking that if uh, we also know that when we are into the meditative state and uh, when we are healing then we can also spread uh, this message across across the world like uh, we can actually heal the other uh, like other people as well now if yeah. that is the case and if it is working fine then why still why are we still having misery and uh, like why are we having all this all this sorrow like around us there are lots of uh, spiritual organizations uh, working around and why why we haven't filled that gap yet thank you right 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 thank you for the beautiful questions um so first of all i personally never had experience with any alien but yes i do channel light languages which come from different constellations which come from different stars like lyra like pleiades like sirius and so forth and so on so i am assuming and uh, this is my personal uh, answer that if at all there is uh, so what is communication it's just basically transfer of energy right but because we are living in a dimension which is of form it takes some kind of the form so definitely light language communication is possible with life beyond our planet because if they are the evolved souls if they have come from the evolved dimensions or evolved planet they just know how to transmit the information to you or if your mind is in a state of need to have some kind of form of communication definitely one form of communication will be light language that i know like i have that inner conviction that yes it is there aliens will speak light language and um, the second question there are some souls who are already spiritual then most of the souls are on the journey of awakening then why there is so much of mystery see everything on our planet has a role to play all right not every soul is on the same form if you see earth as a university and you see every soul in a different phases of evolution then it really makes sense that you know we need some uh, the life lessons in some other other form and why we are not able to end the mystery 
see the more we are getting awakened the more garbage which was suppressed in the collective subconscious mind is coming on surface thus for the cleaning so it's not going to be easy as a nahi hai ki aap enlightened ho jaoge and everything will be easy you know to reach that state of ease and grace or to reach that state of collective ness wherein you know there is no misery there is only joy there is only happiness that is the ultimate goal of the spiritual uh, people who are getting awakened but it it will take time because even there is lot to clean and this misery is created by whom it is created by all of us through ages through ancient times so it's our responsibility to clean it and it's not going to get cleansed just you know in one night it is going to take time so the more people awaken like if i speak about my personal spiritual journey uh even now every day i have to sit and i have to do my inner purification practices because if i have an issue of anger i have to clean it if i feel ki okay anger clean ho gaya hai now i am able to control the situations jahan pe main pehle gussa ho jati thi reaction deti thi but now my anger has cooled down anxiety will come up because there will be always something or the other thing to clean right but what we can do is we can keep bringing back our spiritual gifts to help ourselves and to help the other souls because the more these uh, sub subconscious um emotions which need cleansing are going to come up the more we will need our gifts you know i hope i made the sense <laughs> i think shilpa we can have more questions if there are later on and thank you for okay. your clarification and yeah let's uh, try to experience it and then maybe thank you so sure, much sure 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 so before we get into meditation just one uh, uh, condition just check that you are not driving because uh, you should not receive the light language healing while you are driving and i hope there is no pregnant woman in the group all right yeah so they'll be responsible for this i am sure i at least those who i know are not driving okay. only i saw rajasthan kadak ka and about pregnancy so they have to be responsible all right so we are ready to start with the session everybody just close your eyes be aware of your breath take a deep breath in just relax and with the exhalation allow all the anxiety all the worry all the stress to come out of your physical body all the resistances that is not required at this point of time let it all get melt with the help of your deep inner sense of peace calmness be aware of your breath and visualize a beautiful star over your head showery beautiful white color rain over you and for the cleansing away some stubborn emotions like fear like worry deep rooted stress deep rooted resistances allow all this negative emotions to get washed away into the mother earth for higher transmutation be very comfortable with your physical body if you feel any resistance over any part of your body just breathe in and breathe out through that part now the light language which is come which will come in is a cleansing energy which will help you to clean some stubborn negativity from the surface of your aura and from the surface of your emotional body so just be super receptive for this cleansing be aware of your feet and be aware of your palms shanamata takushini mitya sapasta takushini sanamata sarasa takushini mitya sarasa rabata takushini sta shanamata takushana mitya 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 sanamata takushini mitya sapasta takushanamata takushini mitya sta shanamata takushana mitya 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 takushini mitya takushana mitya 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 take a deep feeling breath in and relax you may feel little itching sensation which is a part of release or you may also feel some release happening from your feet and palms 
allow all the resistances from your system which is blocking you to receive the goodness the miracles and the healing that you deserve to melt away into the mother earth वेरी जेंटली ब्रिंग युअर अवेरनेस इन टू युअर हार्ट स्पेस allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling it could be a positive emotion or it could be a negative emotion we will do some cleansing around grief and sadness because i feel that this group has dominant amount of sadness and grief let's do some cleansing around it mentally affirm i am ready and willing to release the deep rooted sadness and grief from my heart space shanamata kushini asamata kushanamata satasanamati astatta kushanamasta rastanamasti asta shanamata hata karashanamati amati kushanamata hata karashanamati amati asanamata hata karashanamasta shanamata hata karashanamati amati amati asanamata hata karashanamati amati 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 asanamata hata karashanamasta shanamata hata karashanamati amati amati satakata kushanamata hata kushanamati amati amati take a deep breath in and just relax be aware of your spine shanamata to kushini miti sana shanamata to kushini miti sana matya 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 shanamata mata to kushana matya shanamata to kushana matya sata sata mata kushini mata 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 we are also doing some cleansing around the fear of survival shanamata to kushana matya 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 kushanamata to kushana matya 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 shanamata to kushana matya matya kushanamata to kushana matya matya Take a deep healing breath in and just relax. Visualize green Tara, a beautiful divine form of green Tara, is standing towards your right hand side, and there is also an animal spirit. I am sensing the energy of dolphin towards the left hand side, and they both are here to share their medicines, to share their their healing gifts with us. Visualize that green Tara is placing her palm over your throat and extracting away all the self-criticism, overthinking, the mental blocks, or mental hatred regarding self and regarding God. Shana mata hata kushini miti sta 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 kushini miti 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 sta 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 na sta na mati sta 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 kushini sta na mati sta 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 sta. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya kushini miti sta na ta na mati ya sta sta na mata hata kushna. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya. If you are sensitive enough, you may feel your throat is pouring out a lot. Shana mata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya. Kushana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya. Kushana mata mati ya mati ya mati ya. Take a deep healing breath in, just relax. Now visualize your breathing in through your throat area, and you are exhaling out through your throat area. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya sata kushana mati ya mati ya mati ya. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya. Take a deep healing breath in and just relax. Now visualize there is a beautiful dolphin towards your left hand side. It's some spirit animal, and she's just. Touching you very joyfully. She is activating the codes of joy and happiness in you. Shana mata kushini miti sata sata kushana mati ya sata sata masti sata kushini miti sana sata sata kushana mata sata. Shana mata hata kara shana mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya kushana mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya mati ya. Take a deep healing breath in and just relax. Now visualize one wish or one desire that you want to be manifested for you. It could be anything, and we will receive the blessing for that wish to manifest from 
मां ग्रीन तारा विजुअलाइज दैट एज अ ब्लेसिंग शी इज कीपिंग सम फ्रूट इन योर फार्म्स इट कुड बी ग्रेप्स और इट कुड बी एप्पल फॉर सम ऑफ यू ट्रस्ट योर इंट्यूशन ट्रस्ट योर फर्स्ट थॉट रिगार्डिंग इट एंड दिस गिफ्ट एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ ब्लेसिंग फॉर योर विश will remain with you energetically forever shana mata kushini mistas to kushana mata hata karushana madhya madhya sana mata hata karushana madhya madhya shana mata hata karushana madhya 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 kushana mata hata karushana madhya 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 kushana mata hata karushana madhya madhya mata take a deep healing breath in and just relax feel the lightness of your being hear whatever your hearing experience whatever your experience in रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ वाइब्रेशन एंड बी अलाइनिंग आर वाइब्रेशन विद्रेशन ऑफ मदर अर्थ walk bare feet on or uh, uh, on the sand or you know just be in contact with the mother or the lord so just go with the flow whatever you feel just try to follow that now i will read a small prayer and then we will be good to come back into our physical reality just be aware of your breath be aware of your spine peace be with you all my peace the peace that is i the peace that is i am the peace for always now forever and ever more my peace i give to you my peace i leave with you not the world's peace but only my peace the peace of i visualize or inhaling the speed peace deep into yourself deep into your blood and bone deep into your genetics and you're exhaling out peace one more time visualize your inhaling peace and exhaling peace one last time inhale peace exhale peace and whenever you are ready you can gently open your eyes with big big smile on your face be very gentle with yourself very gently try to come back into your physical body and if you have water with you please sip some water uh i mean i was so deep i was somewhere i didn't want to come and of course yes dolphin came before you said <laughs> so dolphins were that that energy so for me the fruit was banana so these are the two wow. three things and lot of water in the big when you were just telling us to cook i don't remember these things wonderful how are you feeling chance to peaceful yeah. yes yes yeah. of course yeah i'll let uh, swati or some anybody else uh, welcome toyba you know this is why i allow people to speak before because after like language nobody wants to say <laughs> yeah you know, i'd like to go shilpa i'm uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. very uh, happy and joyful and energetic and uh, like anuradha is sharing i was also like i i really thought that this was like really, really it it could have lasted more i didn't feel like coming back uh, it was in a it felt like i was in a very different world and everything was so joyful and peaceful and uh, i could uh, the the fruit that i felt was grapes and i like anuradha i also could feel the dolphin it was like so powerful wow. thank you so much wow lovely so you all can google the spiritual significance of the fruits that you receive if you are aware of it 
lovely toyba thank you for sharing your experience so i also Anyone? feel like very can i share yeah yeah, yeah please so i feel uh, very calm and like with the dolphin was playing with me wow. and the little suit was a pomegranate like wow lovely and how are you feeling now i'm feeling very like uh, like calm and happy i feel happy lovely. from inside lovely so you know this is a natural state we just have to remove the garbage <laughs> anybody else would like to share tarun madhav rajat or swati yeah i would like to yes sir uh, at some point i had a sensation uh, at my spinal cord and uh, i do get these sensations quite some other time as well uh, during meditation and all so i just want to understand what what it is and uh, uh, at the end when you ask us to breathe in and uh, release the peace i saw a, a kind of hello uh, i don't know like why it is that but mm-hmm. i saw that as well lovely so just be with this experiences uh, that uh vibration over the spine is nothing but the you know movement of energy the cleansing that is happening or the activation that is happening and seeing the halo like just meditate on it more try to get the answer from your own inspiration because it could mean something else for me and it could mean completely different thing for you and uh, just be with the experiences as much as much as possible sometimes you know what we what happened uh, in the process of intellectualizing it we miss the complete essence of just being with it so just be with it and it will reveal the answer will reveal itself to you in your meditations itself thank you lovely thank you for sharing rajat swati you wanted to say something yeah uh, actually I didn't know what is the slight meditation, hmm. uh, the language of light, but still, I did it, and I felt it nice. I could feel green Tara uh, taking things from my throat chakra, and dolphin kissing me all over my body. <laughs> I could feel. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and the fruit, and the fruit for me was chiku. <laughs> Lovely. And I don't know what that what is the significance of that fruit. Hmm. but it was nice and it was something new for me today actually i was going with my husband in the car only i did my meditation i uh, <laughs> because i just wanted <laughs> okay what is this lovely lovely so you know i suggest that whatever fruit you got at least just eat it within 24 hours at least taste it maybe you know it will have some more cleansing okay. effect on you and okay. lovely experience was really i'm so happy that everybody was actually able to sense and feel the presence of green tara dolphin lovely amazing awesome thank you very much thank you for sharing me fun anybody else what was that language actually i don't know much about that language i joined in between i was just coming from the lift and this message being joined quickly so i went inside get my headphones so i while driving i can listen what is going on the session i came after a very long time <laughs> so i missed that part which is nothing but you know just the way of communication of divine energies with us and it carries codes activation geometries energies that are needed for us for our healing you won't get to understand it through mind but it passes your mental plane and it gets into your um, soul heart and higher emotions and slowly it get penetrated into your physical body also resulting into the uh, healings and whatever healing your soul need at that point in time so it's just divine energy communicating from the spiritual world and materializing into the physical world Awesome. Yes, Anuradha, please take over. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, actually, if nobody's, uh, if the Hariam has come, but I want to say that if, say, suppose I want to learn uh, this uh, light language, how did you learn? Or uh, when you said that it's written, so there is a, like, you know, there is a script also, like, so I thought it's only a vocal language so far. 
uh, something you, you can know. dance light language you can write or write light language you can sing light language you can speak uh, light language so it cannot be taught it cannot be learned because it is an innate ability you already have it you know it will get activated as in when you're ready for it based on the spiritual work that you're doing but yes with the help of somebody who is already activated in speaking or channeling light language you can receive help from them to get activated or to you know remove the blockages uh, for your activations that can be done and uh, as this will be a, this is getting recorded and it will be placed on youtube so can we repeat it like that yes. was done okay yes but don't and do it twice a day like uh, okay. the people who have received the light language today it's better to come to it after 7 days or after 15 days based on how much energy you can handle on repetition okay and like do you do this for yourself also every day or you do the general kind of meditation like for you personally those who are activated okay. how it goes or uh, even the form of meditation evolves like earlier i used to do very advanced arhatic yoga meditation now it's very quick i just have to close my eyes and i feel connected receiving the divine guidance and over the period of time this will also change so there is no specific way that i'm getting connected to this energy that i can define at this point in time but yes i definitely do a uh, personal light language sessions for people who are going through extreme traumatic situations because you know the, this energy directly gets into your subconscious mind and it has the ability to clean the stubborn pattern clean the stubborn energies root causes of those issues and so far we have received tremendous uh uh miraculous healing happening with the sessions and i also help people in getting activated to speak light languages i mean there is no guarantee the person will speak but the activation will happen and the person will speak whenever the he or she is ready to channel it into the world so i just want to share one thing about my tara like uh, when i was a child there was a tara statue brass statue in our home yeah. and then I I was living in China for many years so I visited a place it was a full of temples it was a an island and there was a 108 feet statue of matara there wow so that was a connection with matara wow no i think she is guiding most of the people here because yeah. dolphin and matara were very prominent uh, in the session today and or maybe we needed their blessings today you know for the days that we are going to face next yeah and one story i read about uh, rishi vashishth na like he meditated on ma tara for 7000 years and then she didn't appear so he wanted to curse that mantra of ma tara then hmm. she appeared and she said that you didn't need a guru for that Ah, uh, to find a guru, then I will be like uh, I will be activated for you. So that was right. the story. Rishi Vashishth, na. So he meditated again for seven thousand years. So at th- maybe those times, people have a long age, so long life. So it was a story I read somewhere that he meditated seven thousand plus seven thousand years. Then only he could get Ma Tara's blessings. wow uh, you know when first i start like i started with writing light languages then it took me some time to accept that i can speak and some level of confidence you know to speak it out so initially when i uh, channeled light language for the first time i i knew about light languages but i was not sure what i have done is light language or not so uh, i just posted it on facebook you know asking people to if they know about light language please help me understand what it is and there were four generous people from different countries like they kept a zoom session for me just for me to understand what i was doing and they told me that whatever i wrote it was 15000 years back a sumerian language sumerian dialect and they said whatever you the energy you channel it has a very uh, authoritative power it has a lot of authority in it and they said you know do you know about a city which is near a uh, sea and it is very ancient and i know i said i just know one city dwarka <laughs> and it is inside the sea <laughs> they said you, you should visit that city and i'm yet to visit that city but yes all those ancient people 
uh, they they definitely knew about the light languages and and definitely uh, i think we all should meditate with green dara for next few days because she is prominently present with us so she may help us with more insight and more experiences yes anu yeah thank you thank you uh, shilpa for this wonderful 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 session of yours thank you so much i think we will close uh, the session and if somebody wants to say thank you or some last comments thank please you, thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank uh, you Shepa. everyone wonderful meditation yeah thank you so Shepa. much thank you anuradha for organizing it thank you so much thank yeah you. thank you anuradha for calling thank me and thank you to everyone who participated and thank you to all the invisible beings who were there to help us take care and stay blessed thank you so much thank, thank you everyone thank you thank you anuradha thank you thank you so much uh, thank you everyone